Hey guys, long time no see. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a furrow hop. Uh, it's very, very simple to do. All you need is bobby pins and two light like, tooth clips, and you get it done out the door in like five minutes. They don't take long at all. I wanted a little bit more length and I want my hair to move around easier, so I started it um, by twisting it last night, which you're going to see in the video, and sleeping on it, and then just untwisting it in the morning. You don't need any many products at all yeah so this is going to be your finished look so don't forget follow my blog caratree.com and yeah that's it <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next video bye okay guys like i said i started from the night before um i needed to prep my hair so i went ahead i think i just came from the gym so please excuse me for a little bit raggedy but I just went ahead and finger comb my hair all the way up just to kind of get out of the way. And piece by piece, I just took small sections. I don't usually part or anything like that. And I spray with some water to give it some moisture and make it more um, manageable in my hands. So I pull it all the way through. And then my combination is going to be coconut oil and Cantu leave-in conditioner. This is to me the best combination for any sort of twist out. Um, braid out um, styles. I love the moisture the coconut oil gives and the leave-in conditioner I think just makes the end result very smooth. So when I get those both in moisturized in my hair I start by um, to twist it all the way down and then twirl it at the end So the end of the curl is nice and smooth and there's nothing more luscious than a nice juicy twist to me <laughs> And I just repeat this step all over my head so now that your arms are officially tired and all your nice juicy and moisturized plaits are completed you're going to take them and actually stretch them over your head to elongate them and this is a trait I learned from natural natural I think 85 on YouTube just hold it, stretch it, and then pin it to your scalp. It can go in any direction, it doesn't really matter. It just um, elongates the curls, and I know they're a lot bouncier up fine when I do this. And now I'm going to take a wig cap and secure it over my head. I'm just using a wig cap because I find, as opposed to using a scarf, it's going to make my hair dry a lot faster when I go underneath the dryer. But you can use whatever you have. So in the morning, the only thing left to do is untwist. So I take off the wig cap and just untwist with my hands and I use coconut oil for additional shine. The next step will be to take any natural girl's best friend, the afro pit, and go ahead and lift up your roots. This is going to give you a lot more volume. But the thing is, you don't want to go all the way until the end of the twist. This is going to disrupt the curl pattern. So just go like a quarter inch up from your root. So now it's time to position and place your mohawk and I just like to look straight forward and run my hands up and that's where your clips are going to go. To be honest, I really don't know the correct terminology for these things. I call them tube clips but just take it and just clip it right into your head. There's no other way to explain it. I use two of those on either side and I just go ahead and I take bobby pins and run it straight backwards. When I first started doing this style, it actually took me a long time to do, but I guess easier to go. It helps if you have a side mirror for placement, but I think the most important thing to do is to keep the initial guideline you made with the tooth clip. Your last step will be to go back in with your fingers and kind of separate the chunk your twist, just to make sure everything looks somewhat even. But other than that, that's about it. Is a real fun style and not hard to do at all. I hope you girls enjoyed watching it as much as I did filming it. Leave any suggestions for future videos below and don't forget to follow me on all my social media sites. Thank you girls so much for watching, I truly appreciate it. Love always, Zoe.